hello guys welcome to my channel techmon.in this is another video for the playlist short and simple in this uh, video we are going to learn how to apply collage function in PySpark so uh, many um, SQL users must already be aware of collage function because it is really really uh, helpful when you are merging two data set joining two data set together but uh, i found in uh, in my experience that not many uh, pyspark users are uh, aware about this fu function so let me get uh, on the on to it so first uh, the data set has been picked from kegel uh, countries geographic coordinates so what i've done i picked the data which contained country lo uh, latitude longitude and location which is basically the country name okay so i've split this data uh, into two uh, first is uh, you know as you can see here first data set country's name contain only country code and the country name and then another data set contains country code and only latitude longitude i'm not going into detail what i'm uh, doing here just uh, giving you a quick brief so i'm only pulling top uh, 10 records that is uh, because we it will be easy to visualize the results see the results and also here what i'm doing i want uh, since i'm going to make a full auto join there should be some records which are only in left and there should be some records on uh, only on right data set right so what i've done uh, here i pulled only 10 here i pulled 15 and then uh, with sampling i randomly picked uh, 10 records uh, let me quickly show you so this data should uh, should roughly have 10 records so this is to make sure that both the data set have some unique records uh, unique to them uh, so me uh, so it got 13 fraction of 15 i didn't expect 13 okay but that will work solve our purpose so now first i will just merge the two data set i'm named merged data set so I have this on my left and this on my right uh, joint uh, takes in three uh, inputs first is uh, the data set which we want to join right data set then a uh, column on which we want to make joins so here I want to merge on the country code of the left data set which should be equal to country code of right data set and how my join will be it will be full join by default it is in a join so let me show oh my bad it should be double equal to okay <clears throat> data set does not have oh it's county is it county in both yeah my bad it is not country it is county okay so it shouldn't take much time so what we are going to see here so since we join uh, applied full uh, join full auto join so there will be as you can see here in this uh, county code as you can see we have nulls reason being these are the counties which were not available on the right hand side data set which is countries lat long so as you can see for these countries we don't have uh, county name right and then uh, yep there are some records these one as you can see the these three uh, columns county code this one latitude and longitude has been pulled from the right data set right but uh, right data set did not contain these two county so value against the columns which were full uh, pulled from right data set were null so the problem here is uh, as you can see we don't have a single uh, county code right we need a single column if i pick this county code 
this one from the right left data set or the country's name data set these will remain null and if i pick it from or uh, uh, make this my main column main county code column the there will be nulls there too but if we look at the to, uh, these two column together this column has 80 this has 80 ae ae uh, then as you can see for this it is null here but it is af here so what if we merge these two columns to create a common or new county code right so let me quickly show you how we can do that we have uh, the role of coalesce comes in so i'll be creating a new column new county code and what i'll do i will apply coalesce which is under pyspark.sql.functions coalesce and now i'm going to specifically mention let me pick these two or uh, coalesce takes uh, as many uh, input as you can provide uh, more than one so let me not first uh, let me tell you what i'm going to do so my first column will be county code from country's name okay i pass it here my second value will be county code again but from country's lat long data set okay so now how coalesce works is first it will look in the uh, this column if a value from this column is null it will go to this column and fill the value whichever is available here right but if it founds a non-null value here it will stop and fill this new column with the value from here so let's um, print out the results and see it in action so i will also quickly show you how uh, to do it in uh, you know sql uh, queries because that is where it is most uh, uh, commonly used so as you can see here the new county code so for af um, afghanistan as you can see here a uh, county code was there in a uh, country's name data set left data set but not there was there was not there in right data set which is counties lat long but in the new county column as you can see here there is no null if it was a null in the first column it picked the value from the second column and placed it there and vice versa if uh, the value in the first column is not null it directly imputed that so that is the functionality of coalesce and now how to you know apply it and make use of it in sql let me quickly show you so i'll be using these two data set uh, first i'll have to register them register temp table i am going to register it by same name so uh, by registering them as temporary tables it uh, creates their schema and we can uh, run sql queries on top of that i'm going to create a new data frame sql merge data set so now i don't need those data frame i can write spark dot sql and inside it i'll be writing my query so select we'll come to that little later from my first is this i name it as a uh, full join i am going to pick this one b and now on condition we are going to say e dot county code should be equal to p dot county code okay now we are going to select for now let's only select a dot county code p dot county code and um, along with it let's also pull out 
of t coat e dot county code as new county code okay so let me also rename it and okay so that's all we'll be showing our results here so let me quickly explain what we did or uh, by registering these temp table i can use my sql queries on these data set so in my sql query i pick these two column uh, the county code from a country's name county code from b uh, country's lat long and then i also applied a coalesce function on both of them to create a new column new county code so i also merge these two table full out of join here so as you can see here we got a similar result when we uh, as you can see here afghanistan is null in b county code and coalesce combine them these two columns together to create a final column so if for example if my both the column values contain null my output in the final will also be null and preference is always given to the column which is uh, you know in the uh, first column is given the more preference so if it is uh, if there is value in the first column it will be imputed if not then preference goes to second column and so on so for, uh, let me also so show you what also we can do let's say manually give some value and it is not null actually it is uh, a string in which it contains a value right so what it will do since null is a string it will put that value or let's say some name okay it is a string and string it's in in itself is not null it it is a value in itself so what it did it imputed it in the entire column because it is non-null uh, value and preference is always given to the first column so it is directly imputed so it is uh, somewhat important uh, in a lot of ways so if for example if my both the uh, there are chances that my both the column contain some non-null value what we can do we can give a default value instead of null now at some default value will will be imputed in this column so uh, similarly just before i wrap this up we can uh, do same here also let some default fault value so also i can cut it and paste it the beginning just to show you it also works uh, in spark it is just similar to provide here we provide a value directly here we have to kind of pass a uh, pass a column so lit uh, is like a temporary creates a column with value default in it <coughs> so we'll also now see default imputed in all the records so that's all for this session hope you're liking my uh, videos and please subscribe to my channel thanks a ton bye bye